Ladies and gentlemen, Larry Hagman. Nice. This is wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Miss Gray. Yes, sir. I want to thank Miss Gray. I've been married to her twice on television. <laughs> and, and I'd like to introduce my wife of 55 years, Maya Hagman, right over there. <laughs> thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Uh, you know, this is really... It's really kind of nice because I, I don't get awards very much. As a matter of fact, I don't think I won any more awards hardly in, in America, in Germany, in France, and those kind of things. <laughs> really, I'm not kidding. And this one from, from the heart of Texas is... <laughs> right. Very unique. Very wonderful. Well, I was sitting back there watching myself, and God, you know, I dream a genie. Wow. How many people were born in 1965? Well, you know me. How many of you never saw Dallas? You see, they're the people who are taking care of us tonight. And all their teenagers, there's a whole host of people who never saw Dallas, but almost everybody saw I Dream of Genie. Uh, because, and now, now Booth uh, was talking about uh, residuals, right? I Dream of Genie didn't pay residuals. Ronald Reagan, who had been the president of Screen Actors Guild, didn't think that actors should get Residuals. He says a bricklayer lays bricks for a building. Every time the building sale, uh, sells, does the bricklayer get a residual? Needless to say, I never voted for the son of a bitch. <laughs> and we're all paying for that now. So anyhow, <laughs> I'm not going to take up a lot of time because... My predecessor has done it so well. <laughs> I wanted to say, oh, I wanted to say something about, uh, uh, oh, I saw Twilight. Have you all seen that? <laughs> I met a little girl last night, couldn't have weighed 90 pounds. She directed that thing. <laughs> you got to see it. I saw it on television, uh, you know, on the, uh, we paid for it in the hotel. And it was remarkable. How could that little girl do all that kind of stuff? She got such honest performances out of everybody. Everybody played it real, honest, you know, and beautiful kids. And a grasp of uh, that weird stuff that's popular now that I'm just not privy to, you know. I mean, how... <laughs> no, I mean, she convinced me that it can happen. <laughs> so Kathleen, and then, oh, okay. I don't prepare a lot of speeches because I'm not really very familiar with this medium right here. Acceptance, you know. Ex <laughs> Except for AA, <laughs> you know. Uh. Oh, here we go. HB 873 and SB 605. Now, I don't know how this worked, but... Dwight Adair, who is my good friend on Dallas, script supervisor and director, sitting out here somewhere. Where are you, Dwight? Dwight, you here? There you are. Family, part of my family. He, uh, he arranged for me to be here. Uh, well, I mean, to, all of a sudden, yesterday, we're going through the Capitol, and just by chance, the Appropriations Committee was meeting. 
I wonder how that happened. Do I? <laughs> and I did what old JR always did, never missed a beat. <laughs> yep. These are Larry Hegman $10,000 bills. <laughs> now, if you're a recipient of this, the way the economy is going, this might be worth a lot of money one of these days. <laughs> so there you go. I spread the money around, and I told uh, all those, those children who are our representative. <laughs> because anybody who wants to be a politician has to be a child at heart. And they're here right now. I know you are. I can smell you out there. <laughs> My kind of people. And I said to him, more or less, a hell of a lot, what's that wonderful guy's name who was introducing everybody tonight? And he wrote that Thomas Hayden Church. Is that guy funny or weird or what, man? I mean, <laughs> he says things that I could never get away with. Yeah. Anyhow, he said it. The thing is, I've gone through a lot of location shootings, and Dallas came down here, and we dropped tens of millions of dollars three months a year for 13 years. I don't know how much that is, but it's more than I have. And it works. If you give some, you're going to get some. It's like my mother used to say in different language, you spread the horse shit around and all it comes back, you know. <laughs> And it's only $40 million in a state the size of Texas. $40 million? Give me a break. You know, I mean, that ain't no money at all. And you get, and they get 15% more. They'll get that money back. They'll get that money back real quick. 15, 20 years. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. They'll get it back immediately. Because you can't compete with uh, uh, Oklahoma. I've been wanting to do a, a movie about Quanta Parker. You know about Quanta Parker? You know, you got to say nowadays, who's from Texas here? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good. Stay at home. Quanta Parker is a wonderful character from Parker County. I mean, that's, I'm from Parker County, and I always thought that Quanta Parker was from there, too, but that's not true at all. Cynthia Parker was captured by Nakona and married Quana. And they had children and so forth. And he saved the Cherokees, uh, I mean the Comanches, from annihilation. And it's a marvelous story. I'll tell you one anecdote. Uh, President Roosevelt, uh, Teddy Roosevelt, wanted him to be his guide, and he was for many years. And then he wanted to appoint him a circuit court judge because he had to handle on all the uh, Comanches in the area, which is pretty big. And he says, well, now, Quana, um, you have five wives because in a Comanche uh, commune, they, uh, a guy died and he's your buddy. You adopted their family, and they were all in your family. So you had five families living there. And he says, you, we can't do that uh, with American morals and so forth, so you're going to have to tell four of those uh, uh, families they're going to have to leave. And Quana said, you tell them. And figure that one out. <laughs> Where the hell did that come from? It just came out of nowhere, I guess. <laughs> Anyhow, you have all these fans here, and you're going to get your money back 100 times over if you start this program. So you representatives and senators and all that out there, go for it. You can't miss. Thank you.